All right, folks, welcome back. I want to go to our panel here with Don Avis and Brandon. Uh, love JC, but he answered my question. Uh, and I, mean, I mean, Brandon, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. This to me is a moment where as a collective, black Republicans can send a serious yeah. signal that, no, we're going to speak as one and in a public way on this issue. Yeah, and again, you just had two black Republicans on your show. Uh, JC Watts is the elder in the black Republican movement. Call out this issue, myself as well. As I mentioned before, this would be the first time anything's been done on this collective of black Republicans. We're not that organized. I know you feel as if that's a, a skate around the issue, but I'm being serious. There is no, they've never spoken on anything before. There's been no collective organization of black Republicans so, but, but, to put but, too much faith in the but, movement. But it doesn't mean it can't sense. happen. No, I agree. And, it, and it, what I'm it, saying, it, what I'm saying is this here. What I'm, and when I, when I say it's a collective, I'm talking about if you said uh, J.C. Watts, if you said uh, you, if you said Elroy Saylor, if you said Kay James, and if you, I mean, went down uh, Chris Metzler and went down the line. And they've all said and, it. And just then, not no, in the room. and then all of a yeah. sudden, if those, even if it's 20, yeah. or 30, or 40, or if it's a group of 10 prominent black Republicans who stand there, call Alfonso Jackson, former Secretary of HUD, call folks, mentioned. and literally stand there and mm -hmm. say, we, had, we have decided as a group that we need to make a public declaration right. against this. But, that still but carries But everyone you weight. mentioned has done that individually. I know you want a collective. Everyone you just mentioned has made that very clear from their but, position. But, 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 but there is no collective happened. organization. But, 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 go ahead, Don. What, if what, it happened, would it matter? If it happened, would it matter? Are there enough black Republicans to push the needle such that the party writ large would say, hey, we can't lose these folks. We can't lose these votes in these major uh, red states. And I just don't know that it would matter. I would love to see it. Brother Roland is correct. You're right. The question for me is, the question, and, and, and Roland is right, the Democratic Party is it's not right on race, and I try to shake the trees inside the party mm -hmm. every day. The question is, for a good, self-respecting brother like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, like Congressman Watts, I don't know that he would be a Republican today. The question is, yeah. where is the place inside the Republican Party for a self-aware, intelligent, mm -hmm. educated young brother? And that's a question that you have to ask yourself. Uh, my friends but inside see, the White House have to, uh, but and wait, we all, okay, we all have to wrestle with Look, I get that question, but it's, but it's the same thing, Avis, if you say if you pro-life, where's your place in the Democratic Party? Right. I mean, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, you might you might have an issue, but you might say there are other reasons why I'm a Republican, other reasons why I'm a Democrat, right. and so I'm just simply saying, if you're there, don't be don't be present, have presence. Absolutely. I mean, I don't see this as I don't really buy the excuse that that's never happened before. I, you know, there comes a moment in history in which you need to take a stand. Men need to be men. Women need to be women. And if you have a, a sort of um, presence about you, that you care about what's happening right now, now is the moment to make this your moment. I don't understand why they're cowering away. Well, again, I mean, I, 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 well, no, again. But not collectively. Again, for that instance, is, folks, we make a bigger folks, impact folks, together. Individual civil rights organizations can sign statements. There's a reason they put together group letters. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.